Hello guys, welcome to our channel. This is Ajay Times. Myself, Dr. Aditya Prasadpadi. Follow us in Instagram, Telegram, Facebook as well as in YouTube. And stay tuned for our further videos. So our today's topic is most common in your clinical practice as well as in exam point of view also. It is important that is balano prostatitis. Okay. So we will discuss the detail regarding the balano prostatitis. How it is, what is the cause, and how will you investigate and how will you treat and how are, uh, how many are the types of balano prostatitis. Okay. So if you are an MBBS student, then it may come in your surgery paper as a short note. Okay. If you are intern, then in in your practice the patients will come if uh, you are a neat aspirant okay then clinical based question can come like as a picture so image shown here and uh, some clinical points then what is the diagnosis what is the investigation how will you treat further like that okay if you are a surgery pg okay already qualified in surgery and you are doing surgery pg then it is important in surgery point of view as from many articles as well as books because limited data is given in the textbooks also inflammation of the prepuce is called as prostatitis okay p p whereas inflammation of the glands is called as balanitis so suppose this is the glands of pen penis okay and this is the prepuce so inflammation over uh, the prepuce is called as prostatitis whereas it is balanitis glands okay so if both uh, the surfaces involved like suppose this part it is called as balano prostatitis okay so opposing surface of two structures that is prepuce as well as prepuce as well as glands that is balano prostatitis it is important okay so each points are on uh, important clinical questions so in mild cases nothing but only itching and some discharges may present in more severe cases there is red raw glands and foreskin as well as past secretors will be present so moving towards the etiology in children a mostly a bacterial infection it is a predominant cause whereas in adult intratrigo icd local trauma a candida or bacterial infection some other inflammatory etiologies like contact dermatitis reactive arthritis and lichen sclerosis that is balana uh, bxo okay balana prostatitis gerotica obliterans we will discuss later Next, moving towards epidemiology. So, in pediatric patient, most common two to five years. In case of physiologic phimosis, phimosis is nothing but unable to retract the penis. Okay. And in case of unhygienic patients, in case of adults, uncircumcised males with diabetes mellitus. This is the very very important part. Whenever a patient comes to you, adult patients with uh, uh, you are diagnosing the balanoprostitis, then you should must evaluate the diabetic mellitus okay now pathophysiology so mainly pathophysiology depends upon the etiology the cause okay irritant allergic infectious autoimmune diseases or secondary to trauma or malignancy okay so now moving towards the pathophysiology so this is the glands okay and this is the prepuce so what happened in this no. moisture like urine sweat smegma smegma is nothing but secretion from the sebaceous gland and it is physiologic okay uh, the smegma or urine or moisture will trap in between the uh, prepuce and glands okay and uh, due to adhesion or poor hygienic uh, that is phimosis is present adhesion okay and this creates a needles for bacteria and fungi okay and some other irritants and allergens also uh, provoke okay and causes erythema prostatus. how will you evaluate the patient first history and proper physical examination should be done then you should uh, evaluate regarding hygiene infectious exposures potential allergens and sexual practices okay so if you are finding any penile ulcer vesicles vesicles it is okay and urethral discharges then you should rule out first sexually transmitted diseases it is very very important now if you are suspecting of sexually transmitted disease then go for NAT that is nucleic acid amplification test and by this test you can confirm and diagnosis can be confirmed for gonorrhea and chlamydia okay now uh, diabetic evaluation is a must for any adult cases okay 
this is important part now coming to the treatment so overall treatment i will tell first uh, removal of the irritating agent uh, hygiene should be maintained topical antibiotic or antifungal along with low potency topical corticosteroid okay one two and three so if oral antibiotic or injectable then broad spectrum antibiotics should be preferred if phimosis is present then circumcision should advise after all treating all these conditions if the treatment fails then you should rule out for neoplastic jonbalanitis psoriasis or alternative infectious agent like human papilloma virus and nowadays it has been seen circumcision may be curative in select recurrent cases fine so so after knowing all these things now we will discuss one by one regarding all types of balanitis that is according to their cause and how will we treat there are nine types of balanoprostitis we will talk so first is non specific balanoprostitis so important is most common in children and important is maintaining hygiene it will resolve within 5 days so how will you maintain hygiene by cleaning the area two to three times per day that's all next is irritant balanoprostitis okay here uh, nothing but mild erythema with or without prodatus will be pre present so uh, in mo uh, which cases it is most commonly occur in, in case of atopic dermatitis cases so how will you treat avoid strong soaps and applying emollients such as vaseline multiple times daily so after that it will resolve okay as per the cause so one is non specific then we you know about irritant balanoprostitis and also one more thing is potential allergens what are the allergens so latex condom lubricants and detergents okay used underwear should investigate and avoid it okay in the underwear uh, in detergents also um, uh, many people are using so those may cause the balanoprostitis uh, how will you treat these cases by also providing a hydrocortisone one percent okay cream twice daily for one to two weeks okay in that area you should apply that cream okay now next third is candidial infection so associated with secondary to diaper dermatitis mainly in case of uh, children okay the matters rash with satellite lesions also present that is tender to palpation so the pain should be present so in case of uh, adults it can be associated with diabetes mellitus or immunosuppressive disorder like tuberculosis hiv okay all these like this so in those cases broad spectrum antibiotics should be given along with that as it is a fungal infection antifungal agent should be provided powders okay now next is bacteria balanoprostitis so uh, aerobic bacteria like streptococcus pyogen and staphylococcus aureus these can cause bacterial balanoprostitis okay so uh, what are the uh, appearance erythema edema and foul smelling exudate should be present so in case of mild cases and severe cases how will you treat in mild cases mepirocin 2% cream should be applied thrice daily for 1 to 2 week okay in severe cases oral antibiotic like uh, erythromycin cephalexin should be given for 7 days or 1 week got it for 1 week it should be given so mild case mepirocin 2% cream uh, everybody familiar with t bat that ointment should be applied okay if you are suspecting of balanoprostitis how will you suspect by presence of erythema edema false smelling exudates next sexually transmitted infections like nigeria gonorrhea or chlamydia trachomatis okay the uh, we have already discussed naat tests should be done in order to rule out the sexually transmitted infection right so uh, after that after confirmation you should provide septriazone 250 mmg single dose or azithromycin one per oral dose okay it should be given uh, so that in, uh, whenever you are finding a sexually transmitted infection is present if there is painless ulcers such as syphilis you are detecting then ideally should be given penicillin g okay 5000 unit per kg okay and it is it should be given im once that is enough okay
Now moving to the next, our anaerobic bacterial infection. Anaerobic bacteria, the treatment is metronidazole. Okay, so remember this one. How will you find erythema, edema, and foul smelling activity is like aerobic, but in culture sensitivity, you can found culture. Okay, so in mild cases, topical metronidazole, in severe cases, oral metronidazole should be given. So oral metronidazole for seven days. Okay, now next, circinate balanitis. Here, pale macules with white margins are present. Okay, now it may be associated with reactive arthritis. This is a question. Now, how will you treat? treat? Treatment is underlying condition you have to treat and topical steroid, 1% hydrocortisone, PD for 1 to 2 weeks, as we have discussed earlier also. Okay, so it, this is also important point. Now, viral balanoprostitis, it can be caused by HSV or HPV, herpes simplex virus or human papilloma virus. So, we will discuss one by one. First is herpes simplex virus erythematous base with underlying vesicles this is the important part vesicles you know herpes is associated with vesicles that may rupture also so for the first episode oral acyclovir 7 to 10 days you should give if it is recurrent then five day treatment is enough now human papilloma virus here diffuse erythema should be present and here the treatment is podophyllotoxin okay bd for three days and repeat weekly up to four weeks okay for one month you should give the treatment okay weekly three times three days now our last part is fixed dog eruption okay these are round erythematous patches that turn darker with or without edema and vesicles okay so and in the history you should uh, take properly so that you can find out the maybe history of tetracycline and said naphthalene phenacetin barbiturate or sulfide drugs okay these drugs can cause fixed drug eruption most commonly occurs in the genitalia and oral mucosa and whenever you will discontinue all these medication it will resolve but after intaking of this medication again it may appear so how will you treat hydrocortisone one percent same bd for one to two weeks okay so main uh, first treatment is this one by uh, not taking the medication discontinuing the medication if we are taking again it may resume and in those cases hydrocortisone will be helpful now differential diagnosis diaper dermatitis discoid eczema lichen planus lichen sclerosis or bxo already we have discussed now psoriasis fixed drug eruption hpv human papilloma virus gamma cell carcinoma or reactive arthritis these you should remember for as a differential diagnosis complications like phimosis and urinary obstruction can be occur, occur like stricture urethra okay so if the uh, this is repeating that is balanoprostitis then biopsy can be taken after circumcision in order to investigate the etiology further so these are some clinical pictures you can find out see there is a inflammation surrounding the pupils okay so it may uh, if glands then that is balanitis if prepuce involved then prostatitis and both balanoprostatitis okay so and if it is psychiatrized or long uh, long standing cases those are bxo okay or life okay so this is a very extensively we have uh, studied regarding balanoprostitis okay also so follow us in instagram telegram facebook as well as youtube this surgery times so see you in our next video till then thank you and goodbye